I have a long history, a history of poverty and disempowerment. My name is Wilson Kubayo, and uh, I am a motivational speaker based in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. But I have a longer history, a history of resiliency and perseverance. Sioux Falls for me, it's, I call it the city of hope. Originally, I was born in Burundi. It's a very small country in East Africa. So when I was two years old, the civil war took place and wasn't able to live there. So we migrated to a neighboring country, which is Tanzania. And I grew up in Tanzania from uh, two years old to 13 years old. It's like uh, a decade. <laughs> so that's, I grew up in a refugee camp my whole, my whole life. So I had a hope that someday I could be doing something, someday I could believe in myself. And uh, fortunately, we were fortunate enough to be one of the families that came to the United States. I know my past, I hope uh, my future will change. I kind of had a hard time with some teachers who sometimes I will have an apple in my hands after lunch and then the teacher will be like, hey, no eating in, highway, in hallways. And the teacher will just be like, throw in the garbage and I have an apple. And I'm like, I don't want to throw this in the garbage. In my mind, I'm thinking, I, I came from a, an environment where food is the greatest asset you could have throughout the day. I'm not going to throw an apple away. That was where my resistance came, and I found myself in this trouble uh, uh, at school where people did not like me or teachers in general because they thought, oh, I was thuggish and you know, I was like disrespectful. But in a way, I was fighting for my environment, for my values. Like, I'm not going to throw food away. So it was like different cultures and different values that we both needed to recognize in which they didn't seem to recognize and I didn't seem to want to give up my values. And so that created like a, that created a, difficulties for me. But then I realized like I needed to use a positive attitude to approach these problems. And that's how it all changed. And sooner or later I was able to change my whole life. Finally I could see myself going to college. Sometimes it's just people will have a perception of us in terms of like immigrants and refugees like we're not smart. But I found out that's not true. I went to college, I was able to graduate in four years, and I'm doing things in the community for other youth, and I'm proud of it. And so not only did I go to college, I'm also doing my master's. So it's my hope that a lot of young people like me could be able to see themselves succeeding, have confidence uh, to do what they want to do in their lives. Ladies and gentlemen, the acronym of LOVE, L-O-V-E, is to live one value endlessly. I believe Every youth have the ability to succeed if they have the help and the support needed to help them prosper. And that is love. Thank you.